Welcome back. Today we will discuss about other topic that is occupational therapy. Occupational therapy is a type of therapy which helps the person to become more independent. So we will see what is occupational therapy. Occupational therapy. Occupational therapy is a type of treatment which helps the person to live best life at home, work and daily living. Occupational therapy is helping us to overcome challenges to perform daily tasks like learning at school, going to work, placing sports, etc. So in conclusion, we can say that occupational therapy is increasing independence and well-being of a person. So it is a therapy which increases the independence of the person who is having problems to perform daily living activities. occupational therapy occupational therapy is very useful for the people those who are having problems like mental health conditions disabilities learning disabilities physical disabilities arthritis stroke cerebral palsy injuries mental disorders etc so it is useful for adults and young people with wide range of health problems this therapy will help these type of people to overcome their problems to make them too independent to improve their well-beings etc okay. help a person to do uh, simple things to complex thing those who are having problems to do daily day-to-day -day activities in that case occupational therapy will be really helpful it will helps to do the things like eat without others help do office work personal care bath brush dressed etc do laundry clean up around at home etc etc is an OT. The next question, I told you occupational therapist is doing these type of things like helping others to overcome their problem, helping uh, the people, those who are having uh, dependency on others. It will help, it, the therapy will help to create independence. Okay. And who will give this occupational therapy or who is an OT, occupational therapist and what does an OT do? Person who has degree in occupational therapy, and license will work as an occupational therapy course. okay so this is a separate course occupational therapy okay after completing the degree in occupational therapy and after taking the license i mean from an established institution institution after getting the license that particular person work as an occupational therapist they will work uh, uh, as a part of hospital as a part of asylum as a part of refugee homes as a part of hospital uh, in personal clinics uh, everywhere they will work but while taking an occupational therapist or while choosing an occupational therapist, you must be very careful. A trained, licensed occupational therapist you have to select because they only can guide you in the proper way with the relevant information. They work with the people of all age group. They will look into the problems and come up with the plans to overcome the pain related to the problem. That is their work actually. They will look into the problem. For that, an occupational therapist will always assess the need of a person. Always will assess the need of a person. What is the need? Whether they have problem with eating, whether they have problem with going for work, whether they have problem with performing the personal care tasks, whether they have problems to go to the toilet. Okay, they will assess the need first. After assessing the need, based on the needs will arrange the places equipments to help the patient so occupational therapy is a therapy is finding a solutions to overcome the problem they cannot sit in the toilet in the proper way means will raise the toilet chair seats height okay they cannot eat with spoon means we will find out the way to eat spoon they cannot dress themselves they can they have problems while putting the button means they will uh, find out other way in, instead of uh, using button some other ways to uh, wear the shirts so they will find out new new remedies and techniques okay to overcome the problem okay so that is the uh, work of an occupational therapist for example as i told you uh, occupational therapist may teach the person to uh, do the simple to complex activities like button a shirt that is a simple thing for a normal person but the person is having problem uh, uh, in balance and coordination and muscle stretching or problems for folding or holding their hand they have literally difficulties to do the button of a shirt so in that case how to button a shirt and is there any alternative way to do the button 
or button a shirt. So occupational will therapy, occupational therapist will teach how to do that. Then tie your shoes. Tie your shoes is a simple thing, but for some people, those are having balance problem, those are having uh, shaking problems in their hand, tremor problems in their hand, they have difficulty to do that thing. So in that case, how will overcome that problem? Some sometimes instead of uh, using shoes uh, with lace, will will give some other choices or if they wanted to tie means we'll find out some other way to tie the shoes then take bath and get in and out of the shower okay some pro people will have problems in that then we'll find out the solution work on the computer sometimes cannot sit for a long time in that case how we'll work on the computer then prevent falls at homes and the workplace improve the balance change their home to prevent injury sometimes slippery falls is not is not useful and not uh, uh, a, a proper thing for some people uh, those are having uh, fracture or arthritis or balance problem in that case how we'll avoid the slippery uh, flows okay then build muscle strength and improve your memory and memory improving techniques speech practices organizing your item to stay take in nearby places okay address the behavior problems and explain how to overcome it work on motor skills to improve your holding capacity how to grasp a pen how to hold a pen how to write simple things to complex things so occupational therapists will helps to improve all the daily day-to-day -day activities the, the, the where is the problem that they will find first they will assess the problem first after assessing the problem we'll find out simple to complex techniques simple to simple techniques or sometimes it is a complex techniques but how to implement that type technique that we will teach the uh, person then this so this is about uh, occupational therapy so occupational therapy is a therapy which help the person to overcome the uh, problems which is related to their uh, daily performance okay so this therapy will help to or become more independent it will help to become uh, more uh, relaxed and it will help to become uh, more independent to perform your daily day-to-day -day activities so therapist will find out some way after assessing uh, to uh, to overcome the problems hope you understand guys thank you